Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today I wanted to do a in-depth video review for this ATV ride-on for kids. In this video, I'm actually going to walk you through some of the setup process for this. We'll do a demo of actually um, using the remote control to move this around. And then I'll just walk you through some of the features as well and um, even show you the manual. So let's first start with the installation on this. Um, overall, it came packed really well. Um, there were um, really minimal installation steps to get this up and running. You have to attach all the wheels, the front bumper here. Um, you have to put these plastic pieces that go over the back and the front, attach the mirrors, and then attach the steering wheel, as well as add on the uh, rear bumper piece here and this little shovel piece that's kind of cool. Um, Overall, it was very easy to assemble. I was able to get it up within probably about 30 minutes or less. One thing I really like about this to start is that it comes with a uh, remote control and you can actually use this to remotely control this. So if your kid was about to potentially, let's say, drive this somewhere they shouldn't be, you can actually hit the brake button and prevent them from moving it. Um, this has more than enough room. You could probably have um, you know, kids up to, I'd say like three or four sitting here next to one another. The belt is one large belt that they would just wear between the two of them. You have a steering wheel here with controls that can be used to change music. Um, this actually has um, drive modes here. So forward is drive, um, down is reverse. You have a button here you can use for the dump bed. So we'll demo that in a bit. And then additionally, there's an aux output for music as well as a USB output as well. And um, I believe this may even have Bluetooth capability, but I'm not 100% sure on that. I wasn't able to test it. You have your acceleration pedal down here. There's no gas, uh, more or less you let off the brake and it, and it stops. Um, with the remote, there's three speed modes. So you can actually have this going low, medium, or high. Um, you have the little doors here. So these actually clip on the side and then open just like a, you know, almost like a regular car door would. Um, of course, with the dump um, piece here, you could even do like gardening or anything like that with your kids. And then of course it has this extra add on. You can attach these pieces and then add this little shovel on the back. Um, overall, the tires are completely made of like a very rigid plastic. So this is going to easily go up like hills or other areas without any issues. It comes with a charger and you simply just plug it into the wall. It recommends charging for probably about six to eight hours. So let's go ahead and demo some of this. It actually has a little startup sound and then I'll go through some of the modes and I'll show you the remote. So it's kind of cool. It starts up just like a normal car would. Um, once you actually um, add the batteries, which are something you have to add, there are two triple A's. You just hit the connect button. And then once this lights up, it's pretty much ready to go. So you can do forward, back, and then this S will actually change the speed. So that was the high speed. And you can see now it's going a lot slower. And if I go um, and hit this again, this is the medium speed. And then if we hit it again, we're now back to the fastest speed. And you can tell it definitely gets going a little bit more with that. And then you can use um, the left or the right to turn. So again, you can completely control the vehicle that way. And then if you hit this P, it will actually blink and now it's not able to go forward. So the, the uh, acceleration will not work. So it's really nice that they incorporated that. So that's pretty much it for the remote. Um, if you wanna use the dump bed, you do have to do it from the actual inside of the cabin here. So you hold this down and the dump bed goes um, fairly far. This actually detaches, so it will legitimately dump dirt or anything that you put inside of this. And we'll hit it again and it just goes back. Then we also have um, a bunch of controls here. You have lights in the front, so you can see they're on now. They're very bright. I actually had this out at night and it worked really well. If you hit this, it'll turn the lights off or on pretty straightforward. And then you have your um, settings for basically your music. So you can do like stop, start, or like forward back for like skipping. And then these are different modes. Um, there's basically like music modes or it actually does like story modes. So if you hit mode. Music so it plays like all these cool little beats and stuff. If you hit next. And then if you hit the story mode. Story it will kind of like tell little fun stories. The, river. the dancing monkeys. Aesop's fables. The ant and the dove. 
Wireless. And then if you hit it again, it just goes back to wireless mode. So pretty straightforward, um, but kind of cool that it has all those little modes. Overall, very, very happy with this purchase. I think if you're looking for something like this, definitely worth picking up. Um, I love the fact that two kids could ride together. And then of course, um, you can remotely control it with that remote control. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video review. I hope hopefully you guys found this helpful and I will talk to you later.